I am here. I'm in London. If I talked to my younger self like three years ago and I told myself, hey, you will be looking at a skyline of London, I would not believe you. Honestly, I could see myself moving here totally. I will figure that out by the end of this trip, but I can totally see myself moving here after college, which is really exciting to say because that's like, you know, this is a new adventure that I would have to go on. I can't believe I get to fly back to London instead of the US, so that's home base for now and that's amazing. Very excited to be back in London, I love London. I got invited to London Fashion Week and to follow my dreams. Don't know how anything can get better in my life right now. Do not ever doubt yourself and know that if you try and you pursue something, it can happen. Absolutely, like don't ever put that limit on yourself. It's honestly been such an amazing time. It has been the best time of my life, I think. And I never want it to end. I don't wanna leave London. Every day I always think of that and I'm worried that I'm never, I'm not gonna have enough time here, which makes me think more onto moving here after graduating. So excited to be back in London but I am. London is on my mind right now and I told myself that I would move to a big city after college and that's what I want to do. We will see if I can make some moves. Excited to get back to London. Like I always say on these trips, I'm very excited. More to come on London and those updates. I got this, I got this, I got this. Master's interview at three. I have 10 minutes, I'm about to join. I am so nervous. As you can tell, I'm like shaking a little bit, but I'm prepared, I'm okay. Izzy, you got this. So, I wanna mark this date and time because I just finished my interview for the master program for this one specific college and I got offered a spot in the master program. So, I'm moving back out to London in September. Oh my gosh, I am so proud of myself. Can't believe I did that. I did not record before because I was so nervous and I didn't, I really just wanted to focus on myself and really in my head. I was preparing for it really hard in my head. And so I didn't record any of the pre ones. I got an offer for the Condé Nast Masters Entrepreneurship and Fashion and Design program. <laughs> I can't believe it. I really, really, really can't believe it. Good morning, everyone. Today is a lovely sunny day, as you can see by the lighting. We are going to go create some content. I haven't had time to go and create. I've gotten a few pieces from the spring shopping haul that I did, and I actually have picked up a couple on the way that I did not get to show you. I have been location scouting this past week, and I've actually found a couple places that I'm going to go to try to get some pictures. We are going to take my tripod but the most important part about this content creation is that I'm going to be soft launching or hard launching or launching it on my Instagram that I'm moving to London for my master's program which this vlog is about and to talk more about that I am so excited to move back to London I'm heading home back to the States in a few weeks super sad and I just wish I could stay and spend more time in London because I've met some amazing friends like it's just I've had a great time here and these weekends are just so fun I've been having so many different experiences and I'm excited to come back to London I'm really happy to be back home I can't wait to see my friends and my mom and dad are coming out in a couple weeks to visit me I'm just super super excited to be home but also very excited to get back on that plane to come back to London in the fall. For the master program, I applied to just that one. So I was searching through master programs, looking at so many, and then I happened to stumble across that one from Condé Nast, and it was perfect. It's right in my plans, everything I've wanted, 
So I spent a day writing my statement, getting all of my documents together to apply to this master program and I submitted it. So nervous, I was like, I, can't, I don't even know if I'm gonna get it. It's in fashion, I wanna do fashion and that's a road I wanna go down but I just haven't taken a step into something legit, like a major or a program where you have to meet certain requirements to get in but as you know, I got in, so always follow your dreams. Even though it's not exactly the field that you major in, apply and talk about how much you wanna be in it. And also talk about how your major and your experiences led to the fashion. So I could talk about my journalism, entrepreneurship, how I wanna start a brand, all this stuff. And so it led to being in the fashion industry, but applied to it. And then I think oh, two weeks later, I heard back saying they wanted to interview me. So that is the next stage if you get accepted past the submission process. Once you get the email to interview, you have to schedule an interview with, I talked to the CEO, and there's another that I could have spoke to, but you know, I clicked that CEO. I want to talk to the top. So had a lovely conversation, interview went so well, and I got offered a spot in the program. The program is in Soho. I am apartment hunting right now. I am looking at a few apartments. I haven't seen any in person. From this one agent I was talking to in Georgia, if you start looking around this time for to say October, September, you are not early, but you're right on time. You're apartment hunting exactly when you need to be. But I've been talking to a few agents here and it's pretty early for them. They said there's so many apartments and studios that pop up randomly and that I just need to call them a month or two before. So the apartment searching is going to be a struggle, but I'm going to have my mom and dad help me and we are going to figure something out. With that being said, yes, I am moving to London in the fall. I cannot wait to go on that journey. I can't wait to still take you with me. This has been a real growth process. Looking back on all those videos that I started this video with, I can see how it formed the love for London in a way. I remember the second day, I'm pretty sure I think I said I could see myself living here, which is crazy. Didn't think that would happen so fast. So I've had a really, really fun time in London and I've met some really cool people. So I'm excited for the future and to come back to London. And with that being said, let's go shoot some content while we have the sun out. That is why I picked today because it's supposed to be sunny and the lighting is good. I have a few outfits I'm going to try to see if I can get content for. We'll see how it goes. It's, you know, how content works sometimes. Sometimes you can like get all dressed up, have an outfit together and then take pictures and they just didn't turn out how you wanted them to. But hopefully these will turn out good so i can announce with this vlog on thursday about me moving to london i'm very excited to announce it i've told my close friends in my family i have not told the broad general public about me moving to london so i'm excited to surprise a few people a few followers and surprise y'all i mean you don't know this yet and until i post this vlog but i'm super 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 happy i can't wait to come back to london i'm just gonna keep saying it like i always do so let's go get some content <laughs> pictures I've been shooting all morning go through them favorite them look at the ones that I'm gonna plan to post time to go home so I am back and I think I got some good content I do want to say I did accept the master program so it is 100% official I am going the deposits already down I just have to find a place now I am super stoked very excited, and I just cannot wait to make a home in London. I mean, 
I'm living the dream. I'm seriously, these last few days have been such a dream in many, many ways. I just can't, I don't know. I'm excited for it. This fall, everything's gonna fall into place. Be yours and you'll love.